Greetings, Victory Seekers. You're watching Honored with Henri, and I'm your humble host, Henri Kompen. This week, we're going to discuss the value of seeing your creative endeavors through to the end, and I'm going to use a very powerful example outside of myself to make this important point. Over the weekend, I went to the movie theater and saw Glass, and while I enjoyed it, there are many people who feel torn about how the movie turned out. Now, what we're going to analyze this week is not the film itself, so if you haven't seen it yet and are worried about me spoiling it for you, have no such fear. We're going to peel back the layers and talk about this guy right here, M. Night Shyamalan. Now, when a movie comes out, we only see whatever is put in front of us, the finished work, so to speak. Very rarely do any of us bother to look behind the scenes and investigate what it took to bring that movie to life. Glass is the long-awaited and highly anticipated sequel to the films Unbreakable and Split. Back when Unbreakable was released in 2000, it performed quite well in the box office, but received some pretty mixed reviews. Despite the financial success of the film, Shyamalan recalls vividly how studios were convinced that superhero films were not profitable at the time. He was very attached to what he did with Unbreakable, but for those reasons he had to abandon his grand vision and moved on to other projects and many of them were not as successful. Over time, Shyamalan's knack and heavy reliance on twist endings made his work quite predictable. Like any person, he is not without his share of flaws and carries the same burdens and stresses that all humans do. Step outside of yourselves and pretend you're him for a moment. Pretend you have a family to provide for and a passion to pursue. Sometimes what we think is brilliant may be scrutinized. Of course, we can never know until we actually put it out there. Now, the point of this is not to guilt trip you into liking any of his movies. Your opinions of his work are 100% validated whether you like this director or not. But here's why Shyamalan has my respect. After the unforeseen success of Unbreakable stealth sequel Split, which he released in 2017, he had to put $20 million of his own money in order to complete his trilogy and get Glass out into the world. That had to be a huge risk. The fact that he made it at all is commendable. Even if you end up despising the movie, this was his vision, and he got it out there. What I'm trying to get you all to understand is that despite his career's ups and downs, the fact remains that he endured the hardships set before him and succeeded nonetheless. And even though he is a well-established director, his success with this series was never guaranteed. He took just as many risks as someone who is just starting out in this business. Only now everyone has their opinion about his work. In fact, he even put his own house up as collateral to see his vision through to the end. At a time when superhero films have flooded the film market, studios could have easily turned him down. I'm sure people told him that he was making a mistake. I'm sure he had problems in his personal life to deal with on top of that. Life is not without its share of hardships, and yet he still managed to succeed. And all we see is what's on the surface. There's a lot that goes into this. It's not easy seeing how the sausage gets made. Glass has already grossed five times its budget in its opening weekend internationally, which I'm sure has allowed Shyamalan to breathe a great sigh of relief despite the mixed reviews of the film. And something tells me that he actually anticipated this going into the movie. You may or may not agree with how this movie turned out, and despite the fact that I did enjoy it very much, it was not without its faults. But the truth is that none of us are infallible, except maybe the Pope. Passion, persistence, and patience will get you far. There is a saying in the writing world that you need to be ready to kill your babies. It's a tough concept to grasp, but I recall my editor on Marx, J.M. DeMattis, once telling me that I should never abandon my old ideas because you never know when you may have the opportunity to implement them in the future. Glass may not be the next breakout success for Marvel, but just look at the numbers and you'll see success, regardless of the fact that it doesn't have the budget or effects that the more mainstream superhero movies have. There's something to be said about that. Opinions and tastes vary. What I enjoy may not necessarily be something you enjoy. We may align on some things or nothing at all when it comes to art. The same can be said of your own work. Now, let's bring this back to comics. Better yet, let's bring it back to you. The unfortunate truth is that the majority of comics will not be embraced by the mass market. But every comic has the power to impact someone's life in a positive, meaningful way. Whether your comic has stick figures that make people laugh, or broad, detailed battles with Korean warriors and Japanese samurai, 
There will always be people out there who will pick that book up and be forever grateful that you fought past all of your doubts, all of your fears, and worked yourself to the bone to bring your story to life. That's how M. Night Shyamalan did it. It took him nearly 20 years, but he did it. Now, if you haven't seen Glass, I believe you're in for a treat, but of course your mileage may vary. You may hate it. You may see it and know that you can do better and you will probably be right. But always remember to step outside of yourself. Whether someone does something right or wrong, there's always something to be learned from the successes and failures of others. All right, my friends, we'll be back next week with a brand new enlightening episode. Until then, onward to victory.